Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a review on another Nordstrom Anniversary Sale exclusive, but this time it is for the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette that did come out exclusively for this sale. I did just review the Charlotte Tilbury exclusive that came out for the sale, so I will link that down below and up above if you're interested. But anyways, that is not what this video is about. It's about this palette here, so let's just get straight into it. Okay, so let's start off with the major facts about this blush palette. So it is $65, which is extremely expensive for three blushes, but it is Hourglass and Hourglass is an expensive brand and it's just, it's a luxury brand. It is exclusive right now in limited edition to Nordstrom for their anniversary sale. And if you order it on Nordstrom.com, you do get free shipping. Two of the shades in this palette are some of their best selling shades and then one is exclusive just to this specific palette and the product itself is made in Italy and I like to mention where products are made sometimes just because it really products made in Italy tend to be amazing <laughs> I'm just saying. So anyways, let's start off with the packaging of this palette. So when you get it, it comes in this cute little box here with a little bow. And so the packaging is the same mirrored packaging that they had for the previous holiday collection, that same color. I mean, all of their blush trios and lighting ambient powders come in this same packaging. And on the back, of course, it has the names. So you open it up and it's going to reveal a mirror and the three gorgeous blush shades. As you see, it goes from nude peach to pink to plum. The first shade in this palette is Surreal Glow, which is the exclusive shade in this palette. Um, it is described as a pale peony pink blush mixed with Surreal Light for a delicate flush. Well, it has a little bit more peachy in it than described in my opinion, but as you can see, it's very, very close to my skin tone in the swatches. So the next one we have is a Luminous Flush, which I do have the individual color of this. I love it. It's just the most gorgeous pink. It's the main color on my cheek right now. Uh, it is described as a champagne rose blush fused with luminous light to evoke a candle lit glimmer. I'm reading this obviously straight from the website. And when it says mixed with, like mixed with luminous light, that is a, another kind of strobing powder that they have in their collection. So it has that same finish. The last color in here is Mood Exposure, which is a soft plum blush fused with mood light to brighten the complexion. Now the two most recent shades that I named are part of their permanent line and they are part of their best sellers. So formula wise, Hourglass has some of the best formulas for blush. It's just so soft, gentle, and lightweight on the skin. What sets Hourglass powders apart from any other brand is their very soft shimmer finish. It's, it's not shimmery, it's a sheen. They have a very unique sheen to their powder products that just feel so lightweight on the skin and blur out texture. I'm honestly a true believer in Hourglass powder formulas. Their blush isn't too pigmented, which is great, and it blends out so beautifully on the skin. And with that sheen, it really brings such youth to your face and brightness to your face. Now, the specific shades in this palette, like a lot of Hourglass palettes, honestly are not geared towards even medium to deep skin tones, which sucks. I'm waiting for Hourglass to come out with a palette that is for deeper skin tones, because this really, I mean, it's just not, I'm going to be honest. This first shade here, Surreal Glow, I didn't even really notice it on my cheek when I put it on. It's very close to my skin tone. If you are extremely, extremely fair, this would be a good color for you. Or if you aren't so into too much colored blush, like you just want a little bit of color, but like a teensy bit, you will like this blush. This blush is for you. For me, I personally like a little bit more color, so it's not for me. But what this blush lacked in color, it did make up for in the finish on my skin. So though it didn't show up on my skin, it did give the same finish that all the blushes give, which is that very gentle, natural sheen. The blush next to it, Luminous Flush, like I said, really pretty. It's kind of on the finishing apples of my cheek right now, and I love it. I'm a pink blush gal, so really into that. And Mood Exposure is a little bit more neutral. It's more on the plummy side. Really pretty. Like I said, I usually prefer a more bright blush, 
but yeah on days I don't want to feel bright I do like it so I would like to compare it to the two previous blush palettes that Hourglass did come up with the past holidays for 2018 just so if you have them you can compare so they did come out with this other ambient strobe lighting blush palette so the top is the holiday one and the bottom is the Nordstrom one and honestly these two are very very different if you have this you definitely can get this because the ones in the holiday palettes are much more shimmery it's a complete different finish these aren't more matte they just have a softer sheen to them whereas these have more of a shimmer to them so these are a lot more glowy and shimmery and this is more of a more soft sheen so different formula and now taking a look at the big guy obviously it's different in that you get strobing powders and whatnot but you will see that the shades kind of do look similar so the one over here, this is the holiday palette and this is the blush palette. So the shades do kind of look similar, but when they're swatched, they are different. If you are not a huge makeup lover and you don't notice too much differences in tone and formula and all of that, then you probably don't need that if you have the previous holiday palette. But if you're like me and you're a crazy makeup lover and you notice that any tiny difference in tone and shade and formula, they're different. I'm just saying. <laughs> so if you can't tell from this review, I do love this palette. Hourglass blushes are top of the line, luxury, amazing, unique, great for brides. They're just one of the best blush formulas out there. So for $65, I know it's $65 and it's a lot, but I truly do recommend it if you're into it. So yeah, I love Hourglass and I love blushes. So I couldn't go wrong with this palette. So with that being said, I am going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this review. And remember to comment down below any questions, comments, concerns, or whatever you may have. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and if you're curious about what's on my eyes, I did just play around with the Norvina palette and review that. So keep an eye out for this video. I will link it down below. So I will see you later, guys. Bye. Have a great day.